Hey guys, today I went down to the bank on my bike in the freezing cold to get some coin rolls. Um, yeah, I got off of school early, so I decided to go down on my bike and get some coin rolls. We got 8 inches of snow, so they let us get out of school early, so um, I hope I find something good in these rolls. Uh, I'm pretty much just looking for wheat pennies, air coins, um, anything older. Same with the nickel rolls, any worn nickels, errors, proofs. So, I'll open up these rolls and see what I can find. Hey guys, um, I'm on my third roll already and I just got a 1959 D. So, yeah. My first older coin. Not a wheat penny. Pretty close, though. I'll take that. 1959 D. At least I'm finding coins in the 50s. So, show you guys what else I find. Hey guys, this has been a really boring hunt. I am finding nothing at all. My only find was that one 1959, and now I'm on my, ooh, let's see, um, 13th roll, I believe, maybe 14th, 14th roll, and I just got my first wheat penny. You can see the little wheat ear. Sticking out right there. Right there, you can see it. So we're going to see what this is. Definitely a wheat penny. 1956 D. So yeah, 1956 D. Wheat penny. <laughs> That's my first wheat penny I've found in these rolls so hopefully I can find another one um like I said it's been a pretty boring hunt I'm not finding much so hopefully I can find another interesting find if I do I'll show it to you guys so that's it for now hey guys I'd say about four rolls after I just got my last weedy uh would you look at that Another weedy. This one's quite a bit older though. Yeah, this one's a little older. It's a 19... Yeah. Let's see if I can get focused in. Yeah, it's a 1935D. So that one's quite a bit older. Um, so yeah. That's one of my older wheat pennies I've found this year, so pretty cool. I guess I'm not doing too bad after all, so show you guys my next find. Hey guys, I am on my fourth nickel roll, and I just got my first old nickel. This one looks like a 1958. Uh, let's say D mint mark. So, pretty cool. My first old nickel. Still got eight rolls left to hunt. So, hopefully, I can find something good in those eight rolls. If I do, I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, just got my seventh roll open here. And I just got another older coin. Uh, this one looks like a 1954. There. 1954. Let's see what the mint mark is. It's a D mint mark, so it's my second older coin in these nickel rolls, so um, not doing too bad with my nickel roll rolls, so I'll show you guys my next find. Hey guys, check this out. I'm still in my seventh roll, 
Uh, I just got that 1954. Look right up here. Got this shiny 1955. Yeah, this one's in really good condition. Pretty nice looking nickel. Um, deep mint mark. So yeah, got a couple older coins and the same roll. So show you guys my next find. Hey guys, just got my eighth roll open, and would you look at that? One year away from being a war nickel. Nineteen forty-six. So close. One year away. That one is a no mint. So yeah, one year away from being a war nickel. So it's pretty close. So. Show you guys my next find. Wow, this is pretty neat. I just got my next roll open. So this nickel here, it looked a little tinted, so I decided to check it out and check out the condition on that baby. And look at the year. It is a nineteen thirty eight. A nineteen thirty eight. Check that out. That is so cool. It's in really good condition. Wow. That is really cool. You can see some of the steps on it on the back. So that's in super good condition. 1938D. In amazing condition. That's the oldest it gets for Jefferson Nichols. And it's in beautiful condition. That's amazing. So yeah. That's a really cool find to get, so show you guys if I find anything else. Hey guys, check this out. I'm still on the same roll that I just got that 1938 on, and look at that. Ten years newer, but still pretty cool. Got a 1948. 1948 nickel. It's a no mint. So yeah couple older coins again so show you guys my next find hey guys I just opened up my next roll and look at that look at the condition in these suckers right here we got a 1955 and again this one is in like this one's like in mint condition it's awesome D mint mark yeah, that's in mint condition. That thing's sweet. You can see all the hair detail on it. And check this one out. This one's a 64, but still, look at the condition on this one. Deep mint mark. You can see the staircases, even. So, yeah. A couple coins that are in really good condition, so that's pretty cool. Show you guys if I find anything else. Hey guys, I just opened up my last roll of nickels and looks like this is gonna be my last old nickel for today. 1958. Let's see what the mint mark is. Looks like a Denver mint mark. So yeah. That's it for today, so I'll show you guys my wrap up. And yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> hey guys, here are my finds from today's coin roll hunt. Uh, I didn't do too great with the pennies. Um, the nickels I was, did pretty good on, but the pennies I didn't do so great. Especially with 30 rolls, I didn't get much, so. Show you guys what I got starting off with my nickels. I got two fifty eights. And I got two fifty fives. This one right here is in mint condition. No joke, that thing is in really good condition. That one's in pretty good condition too. And I got a fifty four, a forty eight. 46 
and check this one out right here 38 now these are these are um, worth about 60 cents in average um, circulation and in average uncirculated they're worth about five dollars and thirty cents so this sucker is in really good condition check this out so I'd say this one is worth a couple dollars at least look at the condition that things in 1938D that is in really good condition so yeah that was pretty cool to find and up here I got some Canadian nickels got 2000 1983 and a 1982 then on to the Canadian pennies Got a 1994 and a 1981, and I got one 1959 D, and then I got a 1956 D, and a 1935 wheat penny. So that 1935 D, that was a little older, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, these are my finds from today's hunt I hope you guys enjoyed the video so stay tuned to some of my future hunts and that's it for now